So as a story artist, a lot of our drawings are super fast. We usually do like, I don't know, hundreds of drawings per week. So we don't spend too much time on like the design and everything, but it's always just the readability and the clarity of the drawing. Uh, so what I learned from Joe is that usually he has like a smaller top of his head and then it kind of comes out into uh, the cheeks and he's got like these kind of big cheeks. Uh, and so it's kind of like a, a weird bean shape and then his ears kind of come off from there. And then he's got like uh, smaller eyes kind of kind of going into little circles and then doing um, the uh, pupils. And then he has a bigger nose that kind of comes over. And I usually just keep it like a, a simple round shape and then I'll add the nostrils. And as a human, he's usually pretty optimistic. So he's always got like a smile with the, the lips and his mustache he comes in there. And he's always got like a gentle smile. So I always do like the eyebrows up and he's older. So he has a few wrinkles here and there. He comes down to the neck. And he generally wears like a turtleneck. So I have like a little bit of that. And his shoulders kind of come off. And then he's always wearing his hat. I'll kind of come over like that. Have the hat cut into the head. And then it comes up. And then he has a little bit of hair on the sides. And Something like that. And then the last thing I usually draw is the glasses, which uh, for storyboards, the one of the most important things is being able to see the eyes. So what I'll usually do is just draw the outside of the glasses and leave it open. So we always have a clear read of uh, how he's feeling. And, and then just to pull everything together. I'll usually throw some tone on them. Tone on the shirt. And then, like I said before, like one of the most important thing is the eyes. So always kind of go in and make sure that they really pop by making them have a high point of contrast. And yeah, that's basically Jim. And if this is like pre haircut, then he would have a little bit more hair at the sides. And then for Soljo, uh, I'll usually start with a very similar shape. They're very similar. It's just like a simplified version of Joe. So if you imagine that same small uh, indent at the top of his head that kind of goes out, but it's a little less pronounced. And then he has his eyes, which are usually pretty small. And then he also has his thick eyebrows, so we know it's him, a couple wrinkles. And then this version, he usually doesn't have a nose, but we make up for it with the mouth. And then he has uh, his hat as well, but it's almost part of his head. So it kind of comes out the sides. And then I'll erase the top, kind of connects. And then the body kind of comes off the neck, like another round shape, that's a little bit smaller. And at the bottom of that, he has a uh, small little feet and his arms, which are pretty big shapes. And then last, I kind of go in with the glasses again 
and I do a similar technique. And the film, his glasses in sojo form are lighter. So sometimes I'll just do the outline of them. And then you get the blue. And go in and add the blue, and then I'll pick like a darker color and do like a, a gradient. And then again, I go in and pop the eyes out. And then there's Soul Jump. 